Kyle and Holly, you certainly have chosen a beautiful place to begin your lives together. You're blessed with the love that you know and feel and understand for one another. And all the wonderful and joyous moments that will take place in your life will occur because of this great love that you do have for one another. So it is important to keep that love strong, to cherish it and continually do those things in which will nourish that love. And just as your love for one another did not just happen, a good marriage also does not just happen. It must be built by the two of you, building on that solid foundation of love. And if you add to each other faith and trust in one another, then love and continual comfort will be with you the rest of the days of your life. Look at these young hands that you have here today. <laughs> I want you to look at these hands actually, and I'm gonna share a little story about the hands and the importance and the significance of hands. I see several couples here of all different ages that have been married perhaps for 20 or 30 or 40 or 50, maybe 60 years. And uh, the hands have changed over time, haven't they? As much lotion as you put on them and whatever you can do, they just kind of uh, patina to be a beautiful thing. And I want to share with you about the hands of uh, each other. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours in your wedding day. And as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever, these are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years. And these are the, with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that, even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just the touch of your hands. How important are the hands? I believe that a loving relationship is vital to have a successful marriage, and I'm gonna share with you just a few keys to unlock of love. No doubt, many of these keys are already a part of your relationship. The key to love is understanding, as it is the little things that say so much by themselves, especially for the women kind. It's the details that matter. It's the beautiful hairdo. It's the <laughs> beautiful dress, which is very sparkly, is it not, ladies? <laughs> and the earrings and the rings and all the way down to the painted toenails. It's all in the details for, for Holly, I'm sure. And I'm sure, Kyle, you understand that, that that's how your, your Holly is, right? Yeah. Very detailed, right? Very sparkly. That's, okay. You can shut the lights off. You can still see her. It's just great. Okay. So <laughs> that's great. Well, the key to love is forgiveness. That ability to accept each other's faults and pardon each other's mistakes. That's certainly important. The key to love is sharing. Sharing the good fortunes as well as the bad together. The key to love is respect. Respect, realizing that you're two separate people. You're two different individuals. You kind of say things and do things in life differently from one another, which is a very good thing. You don't necessarily belong to each other, but you definitely belong with each other. And you share a mutual bond. And that, of course, started with your friendship. As time would go by, you started falling in love and you recognized you'd be partners for life. Holly, uh, Kyle mustered up the courage to pop the question. And thankfully, Holly said yes. And then the planning ensued. And now we stand and sit here today to cheer them on, right folks? What a beautiful day they've been given uh, today. So the key to love is really inside of us all. It certainly takes a lot of time and patience to unlock all of the ingredients that will bring you to that threshold of love. It is a continual learning process that does demand a lot of work. But I always say that when you find the right partner, it's not hard work, it's the good work you put into the relationship so far. So continue down that path and you'll have a beautiful, loving, and successful marriage together. Holly and Kyle, happiness in a marriage is not something that just happens. It must be uh, the little things that uh, are created, such as holding hands like you are this afternoon. It's a small thing, but it's an important thing to do. Continue to do that. It's remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day, if not many times more. It's important to verbalize your love and your care for one another. It is never going to sleep angry at one another. It is at no time taking the other for granted. And basically the courtship should not end with the honeymoon, but the courtship should continue throughout your lifetime together. So what that means for you, Kyle, is you need to take Holly on a date every week, right? <laughs> okay, 
No objections, Holly? No objections. Oh, no objections. Okay. Those, tonight's the night you want to figure those things out. <laughs> it's doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy to be a helpmate to each other that you, each of you have been intended to be to the other. It's uh, speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways that will make the difference. It's not looking for perfection in the other. It's actually just the opposite. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, kindness, understanding, and certainly a sense of humor is important. And uh, it is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation to one another is reciprocal. And I think more than anything I could say about having a good marriage, it's much less about just finding a partner and marrying that partner. It's much more about being the right partner for the other that will make the difference in your relationship. And I see you nodding your heads and that's very good. To live a selfless marriage rather than a selfish marriage is such a big difference. And uh, Kyle, as you fall all over yourself to please Holly and her needs because of her love for you and maturity for you, she will fall all over herself to please you. And it's just a reciprocating love uh, in a great relationship like that when there is love and maturity together. So if I could have the rings at this time. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. It is said that a thing of beauty is a joy forever. And this is a beautiful place. The love and the laughter that you share, even the tears over the relationship really are a sign of your maturity, your journey, and all the, all the beautiful memories that you've created together so far. These rings are beautiful. They're formed in a perfect circle. They have no beginning and no end. And may your love, and even more importantly than your love, may your commitment to one another truly be endless. And at this time, I'm going to ask Kyle to take this ring and place it on Holly's left hand and repeat after me. Holly, I give you this ring. <laughs> Go ahead and repeat after me. Holly, I give you this ring. Holly, I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. And I take you. And I take you. To be my partner for life. To be my partner for life. All right. And Holly, if you would take this ring and place it on Kyle's left hand. Kyle, I give you this ring. Kyle, I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. And I take you. And I take you. To be my partner for life. To be my partner for life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you if you would to come on this side of the table. I'm going to read something first before you take turns pouring. Holly and Kyle, you just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of these beautiful rings. This is a covenant pledge between two people who agree that they will commit themselves to one another throughout their lifetime. The most beautiful example of this partnership is the marriage relationship. And tonight it is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand. One representing you, Holly, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. The other representing you, Kyle, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And as you pour these vessels of sand into the third, these other vessels of sand will no longer exist, but be joined together as one. And our thoughts for you tonight and for always is that your lives together as husband and wife will be longer than the time it would take to separate out each and every individual grain of sand. That's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't you take a few moments? Come and join me this way if you would. Take hands again. Well, Holly and Kyle, nothing is easier than saying words. And nothing's more difficult than living that out day by day. And what you've just promised to each other in these beautiful vows must be renewed and decided again upon tomorrow, tomorrow after that, and all the tomorrows of your lifetime together. And so with that thought in mind, I know that you will work hard, that you will play hard, that you will prefer the needs of the other even over your own, and you will have a beautiful, loving, and successful marriage together. So now as much as you, Kyle and Holly, have consented today in the bonds of matrimony, this consent has been witnessed by several of your family and friends 
and by the power of vesting me in the great state of Florida. I do not pronounce that you are a husband and wife together. Congratulations. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. Let's get your flowers back. It gives me great pleasure to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Kyle Colby. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>